Welcome to Motion Mapper. And if we scroll down here a little bit, we should be on control mode right here. That's great. We want horizontal axis and position time graphs to start. You can obviously toggle the volume here on and off if you like to. All right, there we go. So meet Pip right there, that blue cube. And we want to start on L1. Okay, so this is where you'll start L1. And you know, there's a couple things. First, there's a settings here. If it's too fast for you, you can reduce it to go slower. Um, if you want a super challenge, I guess you speed it up. But let's go back. I'm just going to play it at regular level. And here's the track that Pip is free to move horizontally on, uh, left and right. And we want to move Pip such that this graph will correspond to Pip's motion, right? So we'll do the first one together, I guess. So this is a, at the two meter mark, a line of constant position. Right now Pip's at like the five and a third mark, I guess. So let's move Pip to the two meter mark. He's flipping out there. But nice two meter constant position. Did it, there's L1, right? And he was at rest, right? He was not moving, the velocity of zero. All right, for L2, I really, he's upside down there. No worries. But now we want to move pit left or right to map this motion for the position time graph of pit. So it'll be up to you to look at slopes of these lines here and see what those slopes tell you about what pit's motion should be. Okay. Uh, good luck. Have fun.